Hello guys, Simano here. Today, I want to talk about the new Substance Painter Lightning with Substance Designer. This is the first iteration of the new Python-based plugins for Substance Painter. Since the Adobe team fully changed how exports and the plugins work inside Painter, I had to do some major changes, so the way it works is a little different from the previous versions. Still, I try to keep it simple and as similar as possible to how it has worked so far. So let's get started. From the Gumroad page, download the zip version 2.1.0 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Show Display Link. Copy it and paste it in the Python Plugins folder from Painter, located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Painter, Python, Plugins. Please make sure you're using this path, otherwise it won't work. Then open Painter. If you install the plugin correctly, you will either see the icon of the light link on the right side of the UI, or the window already docked somewhere in the UI. Now we need to verify the license and install the designer client. To verify the license, open the plugin and go to the Configuration tab. Paste your license in the key field and click Verify. If successful, the email will be filled and a success message will appear in the log. Now to install the designer client, we just need to click the Install button. A success message will appear in the log to inform us that the designer client was installed correctly and we can verify it by clicking the Folder button. Also, if we open Designer, now we should be able to see the plugin either as a dock window or in the Windows menu. Instead of checking every field of the plugin, I think it's better to see how it works in the initial workflow. Let's open Designer and Painter. The first thing we notice is that as soon as I open both apps, they are both connected. In Painter, we can see the ID of the Painter instance, the available apps, in this case only Designer is available, the available renders for the app, and the presets. And on Designer, we can see the ID and the available Painter instances. As you can see, each other IDs match. There are some extra options in Designer that are disabled at the moment, but will be implemented in future updates, so please ignore them for now. Back in Painter, once you select the render and the preset, all the available maps for that preset will appear in the Channels tab. The maps that are shown in the main section are the basic maps needed for a PBR material, and the ones in the optional can be used depending on the material, for example, the emissive and opacity. Now let's check how to send materials from Painter to Designer. First, we select the output path. If you have not selected anything yet, the default export path from Algorithmic will be selected. Then the format and the bit depth, the base size of all the maps, the padding and the dilation if necessary. These settings will be the default settings to be used by all the texture sets, but thanks to the new export system of Painter, we can now add some extra configurations. To add these extra configurations, we add rules. For example, this rule is of type format and is changing the image bit depth of the normal map from 8 to 16. We can add as many rules as we want with the plus button, and they can be applied at UDIM level, map level, or text to set level. And the rules can change the image format, the size, and the padding. Once we have configured everything, we can just click the Save button to keep the configuration even if we close Painter. Finally, we select the textures as we want to export and click Send. As you can see, the materials were created. Each one has a graph of the current package, and if no package is open, it will create a new one. Well, that's all for now. I'll be uploading more videos explaining how rules work and different render setups. Good luck!